Welcome. So what I want to do today is just kind of show you a little bit about what the LC is. A lot of times I call it the LC, but the leading coefficient and the degree of a polynomial. So to get to that, we need to at least talk about um, our form of a polynomial. And I'm going to give you the standard form, and then what I'll do is I'll kind of show you three different examples. So our standard form of our polynomial comes in the form of a sub n times x to the n plus, this is a monomial, and it's going to be the sum of monomials, and then <clears throat> What we have is plus, you know, a, oops, I'm sorry, a to the n minus 1. This would be a to the n minus 2 times x to the n minus 2. And this keeps on going down. And what this is representing is your exponents are going down in descending order, meaning you're always going to want your largest exponent first and then going down in descending order. These a, a sub n, a sub n minus 1, a sub n minus 2 really can just be any, any of your leading coefficients. And then plus, we end with a sub 1 x to the first, and then plus, um, sorry, a sub 0. OK, where a sub 0 would be x to the 0, but x raised to the 0 power is going to be 1. So therefore, we're just left with a sub 0, which is our constant. However, um, we are only going to be concerned about when we're trying to determine the leading coefficient and the degree, the only thing that we are going to consider is our leading term. That's going to be our leading monomial of our, of, our poly, of our polynomial. But it's going to be very important that we make sure that our exponents are in descending order so we can determine what the leading term is. Well, once we have the leading term, we know our leading coefficient, which I call the LC, is going to be a sub n. And then our degree of the polynomial is going to be our value n. So now what I'd like to do is just kind of go through a couple examples uh, where you can see how we're going to determine what the degree is and the leading coefficient of each function. Uh, well, let's just do of each polynomial. We won't go through get with that much functions yet. So I'll just start over here. So let's, let's do a couple uh, easy ones here. So I'll do 3x squared plus 5y minus 2 y equals uh, a negative x to the fifth, and y equals uh, negative 2x cubed plus uh, x to the fourth plus 5x squared. OK. So on the first one, we notice that this is our x squared is our largest exponent, right? Because this would be an x to the first, and we could write an x to the 0, but we don't have to. So therefore, this is what we call a polynomial that's in our standard form in descending order of its exponents. Therefore, we can say the degree is going to equal 2, and our leading coefficient is equal to 3. All right. Over here, we only have one value, so that's going to be your leading term. All right. So if you only have one value, then we know that our degree is going to equal 5. And now, there's no number in front that we see visibly. However, we know that we could write that as a negative 1, and that's not going to affect it. Because um, it's minus is a minus 1. So we could say our leading coefficient is equal to negative 1. And that would be even true if there was no negative sign. We'd just say the leading coefficient was a positive 1. All right. Now on this one, in this example, a lot of times you'll see problems in the book or on a test that they don't have it in descending order. So a lot of students will say, oh, well, my degree is 3. No, the degree of this polynomial is not 3 because that's not the largest exponent. Then some students make the mistake and they say, oh, well, the degree is 5 because that's the largest number. True, that is the largest number for our coefficients. But when we're doing a problem that's in descending order, it always goes by the ranking of your exponents. So I'm going to have to rewrite this as x to the fourth minus 2x cubed plus 5x squared. And here we can see that the degree is the largest exponent, which is equal to 4. And the leading coefficient is kind of like what I talked over here, is a value of 1. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you determine the leading coefficient and a degree given a polynomial. Thanks.